Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, TNC downgrade hardware for the NAND PS3 consoles with a, a computer power supply unit. Uh, here on the front we have the positive and negative terminals and in order to connect that with the power supply we need to clip a couple of wires. So the TNC requires a 3.3 volt line, so that is the orange wire. So take a pair of nippers and choose any orange wire coming out and cut it like this. Next you want to pick a black wire. We want to pick one, any one, and we'll just pick the closest one. What I'll do now, hope I'm still in focus, I'll just strip the wires so the Metal is showing. And once that's clipped, I could plug it into the appropriate terminals. Now pay attention because if you put uh, one in the wrong one, it's not going to work out the same. I'm actually going to shorten these a little bit, they don't need to be so long. So on this one I have negative on the left and I'll tighten it down with a screwdriver that's good, we got positive orange on the right that's 3.3 .3 volts Great. Now we have a good solid connection. Let's clip this so we have some room to breathe at the TNC. And next thing we want to do is we want to uh, bridge the green wire that comes on the power supply unit to the black. What that is, it's kind of mimicking the power button. I'm going to crimp this end here and just fold it over, double it over and tighten it, tighten it pretty flat, flat as possible I guess that's okay, I'll do the other side Well, that's tight enough and uh, let's focus back now before I forget now I'll put one into the green slot and one into any black slot I use, usually leave the black one that's right next to the green one so I could just jump it easily like that great okay so now that we have that jumped uh, we're ready to plug our power supply in. What you want to do before is make sure that uh, the red switch here is always on uh, 1 15 volt. Uh, this is for North America. If you live in North America, you have 1 10 volt or so coming out of your walls. Uh, if you're in Europe, you would have 220 or something like that. So leave it on 110. Uh, also make sure the power switch is set to off. And we'll run a test with a power cable. So I'm going to connect the power cable and we'll give it a shot. As you can see our TNC lights up, everything's good to go. So the next step is to plug it into our PC and flash some firmware on there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to program our TNC. So I'm going to hook it up to my PC and then power it on. So there's the USB. I, I apologize for the lighting. And now I'm going to flick the power switch. We'll go to the TNC programmer. Now it's asking us to press the button on the TNC. So that's the black button on top. And great, it registered. Everything worked out great. So we want to choose our file 
and for this application I'm going to install um, the uh, Nandway files so that one I put in the software folder TC software, oh shit TC TC software, Nandway signal booster edition dot hex, go to program go to reboot and that's it we have a ready to read and write NAN PS3 downgrade hardware uh, I'll be calling this one the T3 flasher uh, if you're interested in having one uh, please leave your email in the comments below along with your zip code or postal code so we can arrange some kind of shipping thank you very much for watching and thank you for your interest have a nice day